The Cannes Film Festival is uh, the biggest cultural event in the world, and so we've got to set the example in terms of environmental protection, as well in terms of fighting against global warming and, uh, and against waste, and uh, so we've got to be eco-responsible. We asked agencies uh, to help us, we asked the specialized firms to come in to look at these questions and to question our practices. So in terms of carbon emissions, we've got some measures such as moving from thermal to hybrid for the car fleets. Uh, the food is greener, more vegetable based. Uh, the red carpet that people talk about a lot is, uh, which is recycled, recyclable and this year it can only be changed once. Uh, so half material, so 950 kilos. And this year is going to be reused as well by an association uh, in the circular economy. As well, we've got rid of all the water bottles in plastic uh, uh, that we had in previous editions. So 22,000 water bottles saved. 50% reduction in terms of printing. We've dematerialized uh, publications and uh, we've got more adapted distribution of publications. And finally, the press boxes which have been dematerialized for the journalists. Eight and nine percent of emissions of the festival is people coming to the festival and uh, to their lodging. So there are things that we cannot really intervene in in terms of intervention. And these journeys, that's part of that because uh, something that uh, is the international side of the festival and we've decided to set up a contribution, a carbon contribution, 20 euros pre-tax, which would finance projects for carbon compensation internationally, nationally and locally. And this was announced today. So six projects in all which will come with the contribution of the festival can be financed and can uh, limit the carbon impact of the festival.